once in a kingdom nestled between lush valleys and towering mountains. There ruled a wise and just king named King Alaric. He was loved and respected by his subjects for his fairness, compassion, and unwavering commitment to their well-being. King Alaric's kingdom prospered under his rule, and the people lived in harmony and contentment. One day, a sudden storm struck the kingdom, bringing with it destruction and devastation. Crops were destroyed, homes were damaged, and the people were left in despair. King Alaric immediately gathered his advisors to discuss how to alleviate the suffering of his people. As they deliberated, a young and ambitious advisor named Lucius proposed an audacious plan. Your Majesty, Lucius exclaimed, I have a solution that will restore our kingdom to even greater glory. We shall harness the power of the storm and build magnificent structures that will awe the world. Tourists from far and wide will flock to witness our strength and innovation. Our coffers will overflow, and our people will prosper like never before. Quote. The other advisors nodded in agreement, impressed by Lucius' vision. But King Alaric, though intrigued, maintained a thoughtful expression. After a moment of silence, he spoke, Your idea has merit, Lucius. But we must consider the immediate needs of our people. Let us first focus on rebuilding their homes and restoring their livelihoods. Then, when we have secured their well-being, we can explore grand projects. Lucius' enthusiasm wavered, but he acquiesced to the king's decision. As the days turned into weeks and the kingdom's resources were directed toward reconstruction, Lucius grew restless. He believed that the opportunity to showcase the kingdom's might was slipping away. And he began to secretly lay the groundwork for his ambitious project. Upon discovering Lucius' actions, King Alaric was deeply disappointed. He called Lucius to his chambers and said, Lucius, I understand your eagerness to elevate our kingdom's status. But remember the essence of leadership is to prioritize the welfare of the people we serve. Our responsibility is to address their immediate needs first. Lucius, however, was consumed by his grand vision. He continued to work on his project in secret, diverting resources and manpower away from the ongoing reconstruction efforts. The people began to notice the disparity and whispers of discontent spread through the kingdom. Eventually, Lucius' project was unveiled, a towering monument that gleamed in the sunlight, a testament to human ingenuity. While it did attract attention and admiration from visitors, the people of the kingdom were not swayed. They felt neglected, their homes still in disarray, their fields untended. One day, as Lucius proudly stood before his creation, he was approached by a humble farmer named Elara. Her eyes were filled with both sorrow and determination as she spoke. Sir Lucius, I see the magnificence of your creation. But I also see the suffering of my people. We needed homes and sustenance more than monuments. Our strength and unity are our true treasures. Lucius finally understood the gravity of his actions and how his ambition had clouded his judgment. He looked at the monument with a heavy heart and realized that his desire for recognition had blinded him to the real needs of the people. He sought an audience with King Alaric and confessed his mistakes. The king listened with compassion and said, Lucius, I appreciate your creativity and ambition. But leadership requires understanding the priorities of our kingdom and putting the well-being off. Our people first let this be a lesson that sometimes, in our pursuit of grandeur, we lose sight of what truly matters. Lucius, chastened but wiser, dedicated himself to assisting in the ongoing reconstruction efforts. Together with the people, he helped rebuild their homes, tend to their fields and restore their sense of community. Over time, the kingdom flourished once again. Not through grand monuments, but through the unity and resilience of its people.
And so, the story of King Alaric and Lucius became a reminder for generations to come. The kingdom's legacy was not defined by towering monuments or external recognition. But by the understanding that true leadership meant focusing on what you can control. The well-being and prosperity of those you serve.